week 14 of the fantasy football season. And here's a few running backs. I looked at off the wire this week. The first guy, Tajay Spears of the Tennessee Titans. The Spears, he's been a running back I've talked about all season. That if Henry went down, he's going to be in line for a big workload. And he, we saw games where he outsnapped Eric Henry a decent amount. So Tajay Spears obviously got an expanded role after Henry left in that week 13 game with possible concussion. And that one, 16 carries. 76 rush yards, four catches, 13 yards, and week 14, a matchup in Miami. Either way, I think Spears, even if Henry's back in the lineup, is going to see a decent role because it's going to be a game where Tennessee's going to be trailing early and often where they're going to have to pass, and we know Spears is the passing downs back and third down back where he's a decent catch passer out of the backfield. So right now, if Henry's out, he's definitely a running back. I would bump up there in the top 15, top 20 in the rankings this week. But either way, I would go out there and add him because we're not going to know till Monday night, obviously. And he's out there in 65% of fantasy leagues. Next running back is Ezekiel Elliott of the New England Patriots. So Elliott, it looks like he's going to get an opportunity to start. And I know it's a tough matchup in Week 14 at the Pittsburgh Steelers. One of the better defenses in the league, but it's a short week. Thursday night football, Stevenson left right away that game with the ankle and was ruled out. And Zeke came in and he filled in pretty decently. I thought in that one versus the Chargers, 17 carries, 52 yards, and he also added four catches, 40 yards. I know this offense, there's nothing going over here in New England. It's pretty much Bailey Zappi trying to get the football down the field to make plays, but the last three games, this New England team has only scored 13 points in the time, so they're free-falling this year. One of the worst teams, if not the worst team in the league, it's close with them and the Carolina Panthers. And this week here, Pittsburgh, at least Zeke Elliott's going to get opportunities, I believe. Because from Andre Stevenson, like I said, with that ankle injury, it's tough to think he'll be back in three days. So right now, Elliott available in 60% of fantasy leagues, even with the tough matchup. Next running back, Ty Chandler of the Minnesota Vikings. Ty Chandler, I like what we've seen from Chandler before the bye week. I know in that week 12 game, it was just a ball game that it wasn't going right for anyone, where he had four carries, eight yards. A catch three yards, but since Cam Akers went down in week nine, the last two games after that, week 10 versus New Orleans, 15 carries, 45 yards a touch, and then week 11 at Denver, 10 carries, 73 yards, and four catches, 37 yards, so in my opinion, Ty Chandler is a better running back in terms of catching the football out of the backfield than Madison. Obviously, Madison, the bigger back and the more short yardage and physical back, but Ty Chandler could run in between the tackles. He could catch the ball out of the backfield. And what a good matchup at the rate is that give up the six most fantasy points to running backs on the season. Honestly, you could go out there on the waiver wire right now and get Ty Chandler. And he's available in tons of fantasy leagues. It's 78%. The next running back I looked at is Roshkan Johnson of the Chicago Bears. Another guy on a bye week where right now you could go out there and get Johnson as well available in tons of fantasy leagues at 79%. So Roshkan, he had a decent role in that week 12 game at the Minnesota Vikings, 10 carries, 35 yards, 5 catches, 40 yards. We know Khalil Herbert's back in the mix as well. But Roshkan, he's a good receiving back out of the backfield. And coming into the year, pretty much people figured it'd be a split with Herbert and Roshkan Johnson. So Devonta Foreman, he's banged up with an ankle injury. We don't know if he's going to come back after the bye versus Detroit. But the pecking order was always Herbert, Johnson, and Foreman coming into the year until a few injuries in the backfield. So right now, I know it's a tough matchup. Week 14 versus Detroit, but if you need some depth and possibly a running back that could break out, like I said, Johnson's out there in 79% of fantasy leagues. And the fifth and final running back I looked at off the wire this week is Chris Rodriguez of the Washington Commanders. Unfortunately, Brian Robinson left the game with a hamstring injury, and he ruled out pretty quickly once he went down with injury. So Chris Rodriguez, he's had a couple opportunities this season on minimal work. Week 11 versus the Giants, six carries, 43 yards. A catch five yards. Week 12 at Dallas, four catches, 21 yards. And week 13 versus the Dolphins, seven carries, 29 yards. So Chris Rodriguez and this commander team, I know they're going week 14 by, but he's definitely a guy to keep an eye on because we know hamstring injuries are a lagging issue and it can nag for the remainder of the season for Brian Robinson. So right now, while he's out there in 100% of fantasy leagues and a running back to keep in mind, even though they're going on by, this week here is the command is I would give him an ad this week. So that's a few running backs. I looked at it off the wire for week 14 of the fantasy football season.